Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about my August favorites. This has been a pretty crazy month for me and it's been fun so I want to talk about some things. So my first favorite would be quitting my job. Um, I talked about it very briefly but I really didn't like my job at all and it uh, was sucking the life out of me. So I really wanted to quit and the house is on the market and it just seemed like a good time to just get out of there. So that's what I did. I quit um, like August, around August 12th-ish was like my last day and then I figured we'd see what happens, we'd see if the house sells, if something goes on or whatever. So far the house still hasn't sold and my mom said she'd give me a month to make money somehow. She said either go back to school or start making money but either way you're not going to sit here and do nothing. So I still have like two weeks to really figure out what I want to do and all of that, which is good. I still have some time. Um, I do want to um, enter some literary magazines. There's some that are like submissions and you could submit different things and you could get some money for them. And I have a few from college that I personally think are really good and I think are good enough to actually be submitted and would be worth a couple hundred dollars so I'm really hoping that that works out for me and they want my stuff that would be really exciting because I'd love to make some money on writing but I haven't written since I graduated college which was 2016 so I'd love to do some more writing and do some more little short stories and see if someone wants them or whatever but it's just hard everything's so hard so We'll see how that goes. I've never submitted to a magazine before, so I don't know if it's easy or anything, but I'm looking forward to it. I want to try it out and see what happens. My next favorite is my new pajamas. I talked about them quite a bit. I don't I think they're all getting washed right now. They're from the brand Monkey Monkey. And they're like sleep jumpsuits. I have one that's uh got jellyfish on it and I have one that has like surfers on it. They're so comfortable, they're so soft, they are the best pajamas ever and I'm so happy to have new comfy pajamas. Like if you ever feel like something's missing and you're like, man, what can I get that would make me feel really special and cozy? Get some new nice pajamas. That really does it. That That really makes things feel really special. I love pajamas. And the pajamas I had were either hand-me-downs or from thrift stores or just old. I didn't have any like new, comfy, cute, sweet, nice pajamas, so I definitely needed some. My next favorite is that I met the Jonas Brothers. <laughs> Hopefully you watched my video, but if you didn't, I'll link it. Um, it was amazing meeting the Jonas Brothers. It was something I've always wanted to do that was like a bucket list thing to meet the Jonas Brothers. It was really cool, really exciting, and I'm definitely glad I got to experience that. And It was something that like 12 year old me would have never thought that I would get to meet the Jonas Brothers. And I was so obsessed with them when I was growing up. They were like the number one thing in my life. So that was definitely like a dream come true. I loved it. it was super fun. So if you have VIP to the Jonas Brothers tour, you will have a blast. It's definitely worth it. My next favorite is that I reached 150 subscribers this month. And right now I'm at 170. So that's super exciting that in a month I've gotten over 20 subscribers. Like, that seems like a small amount, but it's it's really exciting, and I'm really shooting for a thousand. That's my goal. I really want a thousand. I would want a thousand by the end of the year, but I don't think that's going to happen. But dreams come true. I would very much like to get a thousand by the end of the year. Let's get that. Let's get that going. Let's try that. Um, I have loved being able to spend more time with my pets. 
and just be home more. I've had a blast just hanging out with my dogs, my dog and my bunny. I call them both my dogs. Um, it's been nice to just see them and lay down and just relax with my boys. My dogs are the best. And obviously, the next favorite is Lover. I am obsessed with that album. I've been listening to it on repeat. Um, it's such a good album. It's, it's my number two favorite album behind Red. I don't think anything will ever beat Red, but this album is so good. I'm so happy with it. I love it. Um, I'm just really proud of it. I love it. I have my baby girl. So that's super exciting. And she was saying that she didn't really want to do stadium tours again, which I love. I would love some smaller venues to just see her and like it feel like a really intimate thing. That would be really exciting to see her in a smaller venue because I haven't seen her in a small venue since Red. Even then, was that Raymond James? That wasn't Raymond James. Where was that? I don't know where I saw her during the Red Tour, but it was a smaller venue. But 1989 and Reputation were both at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa. And I also saw her in D.C. in... I don't remember what that was, but that was... Well, it was Maryland, but it was um, some sort of uh, big venue, too. And she was saying she didn't really want to do it in and stadiums because it's such um I don't know it's such a quiet soothing pretty album that it's like I don't know it, it wouldn't feel the same being in a stadium so I'm really happy that she thinks that too and she wants to do smaller venues and maybe not even do a full tour I don't know what she's planning on doing because she said she just got off of touring so she's not sure what's going to go on now for this tour, I would like if she did, like, maybe, like, a couple a month and do it that way. And, I don't know, just do smaller venues and do it smaller but still go on tour. I think that would be good so she would still have plenty of time for all the other stuff that's going on in her life. But still be able to do some, some stuff live with us. I hope she does that. Um... I don't really care what happens as long as I get to see her live. Like, I have got to see her live this this time. Um, it'll be my sixth time seeing her live, and I'm super pumped about it. So, I'm I'm hoping she comes. S hopefully, she does stuff soon. Uh, but she said she didn't know of anything yet. She hasn't had any kind of um, talk with anybody yet. So, we'll see what happens. Either way, I'm excited. I love the album. I think it's amazing. My favorite song off of it is Paper Rings. I love Paper Rings and Lover and um, I Forgot That You Existed and The Man and Miss Americana and the Heartbreak Prince. I love all of them, though. I... The only songs I really don't like are The Archer and I skip you uh soon you'll I skip soon you'll get better because I don't want to cry but I don't like The Archer and I skip that song um and depending on my mood I'll skip me and you need to calm down too just because I've heard them so many times so even though it's an 18 song album, it can seem pretty short. Oh, also, a lot of times I skip um, It's Nice to Have a Friend because I don't really like that song. Critics are like freaking out over that song. It's like their favorite song off the album, but I really don't like it. So most of the time I'll skip that song too. But it's still an awesome uh, album and I really like it. I got the Deluxe Edition Volume 1 and I want the other three, but like... It'll be a while before I do that, uh, and I'd definitely rather see her live and save up for that, 
rather than spend a lot of money on albums and stuff and clothes and all that. I did make a cheeky little order on her online store though. So that'll be coming hopefully soon. It said it would take like a week or two to ship and it hasn't shipped yet. And I actually bought that on release day. So hopefully it ships soon and I'll be able to have it and that would be really cool. But whatever. Um, I've also been, like, kind of experimenting with YouTube videos. I've been doing different things, doing, like, makeup videos and painting videos and just a little bit of different stuff. And I hope you guys are enjoying it. Uh, a lot of people don't watch my uh, painting videos, which kind of makes me sad because they're really short. Like, it's, it's fun. It's cool to just watch. It's kind of relaxing. I don't know. I like it. <laughs> so... I wish more people would watch those videos. I mean, two minutes. Come on, just click it and just watch it for a few minutes. It's good. And I'm doing a painting for every song on Lover. And so far I'm having fun with it. I like it. And I'm um, trying new things. I have, like, sand that I'm using and, uh, like, glitter and sequins and all kinds of different stuff in trying to make my paintings something new and I'm having a lot of fun with that I'm enjoying doing that and every song definitely has at least one line that is nice to put on a painting so it's been fun I've enjoyed that I've I've really had fun getting back into painting and being more creative for sure it's been a while since I've done like a lot of painting like I did a couple paintings last month or the month before but it was only a few and it's been a long time before then that I painted so it's nice to be creative I enjoy it and uh, this month I also did a lot of ex um, this month I also did a lot of experiences I went to a petting zoo I went to SeaWorld and I went to Chuck E. Cheese so I've done some some fun stuff this month and pretty much every other month I haven't really done much definitely not experiences like if I ever do anything it's like shopping but it was nice to go to a petting zoo and see like goats and cows and pigs and chickens and all kinds of stuff and really get to connect to them and feed them and play with them that was really cool and I went to SeaWorld on like the day my season pass expired um, so that was cool that I got to go one last time I went with Monique and we had fun and they sent me a thing for a free guest pass so I went for free and Monique went for free and we brought in our own water and some snacks we did eat lunch there but we did really well with not spending a lot of money so I'm proud of us for sticking to our guns and not buying everything we wanted because we saw a lot of things we wanted but it was a good time I love going to SeaWorld but um, I don't know where I'm moving I'm still having a really hard time deciding if I want to move to North Carolina or Orlando um, it's just too hot in Florida like I physically can't handle it when I was at the petting zoo and at SeaWorld both I felt like I was overheating and I felt like I was like gonna pass out like it's too hot but I don't know I mean it's hot everywhere right now it's just it's hot it's summer it's gross so you can't really fault Florida for being hot because it's it's hot everywhere it's just gross and then I went to Chuck E. Cheese by myself they sent me a coupon and said um, today only, play all day for $15. And I was like, <laughs> don't mind if I do. So I went there by myself around noon, a little before noon. And I was there until 8 p.m. Oh my god. <laughs> and my parents couldn't get a hold of me because it's really loud in there and my phone was in my book bag and I didn't hear it. And I around like eight o'clock I sat down and I wanted to see how many tickets I had so I was starting to like look through all my little slips and then I looked at my phone and I was like oh I have like four missed calls 
and so um my parents were like we were wondering what happened to you because it's like 8 p.m you've been at uh, Chuck E. Cheese by yourself for eight hours and you're not answering our phone so we thought you like died. <laughs> I'm like no I'm good I'm just hanging out at Chuck E. Cheese don't mind me and they actually like left the house and was going to Chuck E. Cheese to make sure I was there because I wasn't answering the phone but it's like I don't know like obviously I'm fine but they didn't know what happened I mean eight hours of Chuck E. Cheese by yourself that's a long time. <laughs> but yeah, they they came in and like I called them and they were at the stoplight and they were like, we're like right here because we just wanted to make sure you weren't dead. And I'm like, oh no, I'm fine. But hey, while you're here, you want to go to come on in and check a cheese? So my dad got a beer and they stayed for like 10 minutes and they were like, okay, let's go. I'm like, I've been here for eight hours and you can't handle 10 minutes in Chuck E. Cheese? Are you serious? But it was a lot of fun. I had a blast. There's an operation game there that is the most fun you'll have in your entire life. And you get a lot of tickets. I got so many tickets. I want to show you what I got. <laughs> it's right here. I got a giant sloth. <laughs> he's, he's humongous. He's so huge. So I got this big old guy. Uh, he was 8,000 tickets, which isn't isn't bad for this giant animal. Like 8,000 is nothing. I would have thought it, he would have been like 20,000 or something. But he was only 8,000 tickets and I had like 8,800 tickets around there. So I got him and then I just kept the rest of my tickets and I'm planning on going for my birthday. That's what I want to do is have a birthday party at Chuck E. Cheese because I'm a child. So um, I wanted to keep the rest of my tickets and then just get something bigger during my birthday party. But we'll see what happens. Um, a lot of people are busy. <laughs> and working so um most of the people I've asked have been like I can't get off work I can't I'm I have school I have work I have this I have that I can't come and that's what sucks about being an adult is that there are like things you have to do and all I want is my friends to come to Chuck E. Cheese for my birthday party but everyone's busy it sucks oh man so if you're a kid and you hate being a kid, at least you don't have to worry about conflicting schedules because you all go to school pretty much at the same time and everybody's got weekends. But being an adult is hard getting all the friends together on the same schedule, everyone getting somewhere at a set time. It's really hard. And my friends don't even have kids and it's already hard. So I know when they have kids, it's gonna be like complete hectic craziness. So we'll see what happens with my birthday party. It might just be me and Monique at Chuck E. Cheese, but I hope, I hope some other people will come and it'll be a good time. Either way, it'll be a good time, but I really want my birthday party at Chuck E. Cheese and it's a four kid minimum and I'm like, oh God, three friends? I don't, Oh, that's a lot, that's a lot of people I gotta convince to come with me to Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> but, um, I'm excited for my birthday. I hope I have a good time. I hope everyone comes and it's fun and everything. We'll find out. We'll see. I'm, I'm positive about it. Um, I have positive, good thoughts about it. I love my birthday. It's my favorite thing. And it's next month. So, September! It's September 10th, so it's coming up super, super soon. I'm excited.